I wanted to show you guys this video. We just got back from a walk. Dogs are doing really good. They're nice and tired. It was a good long walk. I just kind of want to show you guys where they're at as far as, as training goes. So Charlie is probably my best walker right now. She has a really good heel position. She loves the walks. She loves the exercise. She loves being out in the outdoors. Um, Blue gets tired, so we're not walking her quite as long. So I did two separate walks with them just so I can take Charlie a little bit longer than Blue. Um, but I want to talk about like boundaries in the home. So so placing is, is something that I do. So I call this placing the dog. So this dog over here is doing it right now. So going to a place bed, <laughs> she's not, not opposed to that at all. Um, and staying there because I wanna be able to answer my door when, when they are both out and they're not running and barking and doing all kinds of crazy shenanigans. So this is a lot of impulse control. So the place command is something blue thrives with she this is her best command so far right now she loves it in fact she's putting herself there without me even asking her to um charlie struggles because she wants to be with me where i'm going or on the couch and when they first come home i don't want them on the furniture um it's really hard for charlie she wants to be on the couch um, and so because the place bed's right here, she thinks, oh, I'll just get up here. But I want her to understand that this isn't, um, this isn't just like free time right now. When we're, when we're doing this exercise, we're working, we're, we're, um, actually doing some things. So if she were to get on my couch, like Blue's going to get on right now. No, off, off. I'm going to pull her off. Good girl. Good girl. So I did use a little correction on the collar right there. Um, just something that where I'm not going over and picking her up on the couch and getting her on the place bed. Um, I want her to, to do it herself. Um, and if I need to guide her, I'm going to use some leash instead of just just picking her up because then she's learning Then I'm not doing it for her. So Charlie, Charlie does not want to sit on this place bed. You can kind of see that's why she's hanging out over here. So we're going to work on this with Charlie right now and kind of talk about the importance of this for a dog like her. So Charlie, place. I'm going to give her an opportunity. If she doesn't get on, like right there, I'm going to use a little e-collar and guide her. Charlie, place. There's opposition. Come on. All the way in. It's hard to do it with the camera, but there we go. Good. It's really important that we follow through. So there's going to be times where she totally pushes you, where she's like, no, I'm good. I don't want to do this. And it's really, really important that we make sure that we end with her doing the obedience. So um, this is something that will go away. This kind of pouty face right here that she's she has, this will go away. And I like to show this on camera when when dogs are learning um, because she might push you a little bit on some things. I mean, Blue loves placing and she's just totally happy to be doing it. And, you know, I, probably because you guys had that play pen for her and she likes it. She's kind of exploring over here. So I'm gonna make sure she stays on the place bed. I don't care what they do. Charlie chose to sit, Blue's sniffing around. That's fine. This is a, a, a chance for them to get comfortable. If Blue gets a paw off the place bed, so she's kind of sniffing if she decides to wander over here, use a little e-collar go to the leash if needed. Now, before they come home, they're gonna be doing this a lot better without that leash help. But right now, using just as much leash, leash information as possible to help them through this. So um, this creates boundaries within the home. Um, now with Charlie, sometimes she kind of thinks she's King Kong. Now, so does Blue, but Charlie's definitely the bossy one. She's definitely the instigator of things. Um, and so we want to make sure that we have boundaries with her, that she understands she has to stay on this place bed no matter what's going on um, until you're released. So even if I sit down, it's not an invitation for you to come up on the couch with me. So um, I know that they play really rough in the in the house. And so... This is really good for them as well, um, just to practice impulse control and overall change a, a different mindset with them throughout the throughout the day. It's not that they have to stay on their place bed all day long. And in fact, that's not really that fair. But um, when there's 
when I'm cooking dinner or when people come over, um, this is a good time to put them on the place bed. Now it requires a lot of supervision. So I've put them in a place, like I can move this bed around. Sometimes it's over here, but we have a pack and play out right now. Um, I can move this place bed around with me. I can take it to the bedroom as I'm getting ready. I can, you know, move it around in different places um, just so I can work on this. So like I said, it doesn't need to be all day long. That's not fair. Um, dogs do need to be dogs, but I do like this for a lot of reasons. Blue is just going to take a nap. Look at her. <laughs> She's such a character. They really both are. And so Charlie right now is my better walker. She walks really well and she sits really well and she does down really well the the different commands but this is her struggle right now whereas this is where blue thrives like <laughs> so i i like to show it i like to show what the dogs are good at and what where the dogs are struggling just so that you guys kind of have a picture of um what they might push you on at home so charlie will get better with this she really will but she might try to test boundaries at home so and then when i'm done with with the command um what i do is i just come over and just to help charlie out i might um come over and pick up her leash okay good and just guide her off so that way she understands blue are you just gonna hang out there today She's like, no, we walked. This is, I'm good. <laughs> but, you know, I want her, to, especially for Charlie, to understand that, you know, you are able to get out of this command. You don't have to be here forever. We can hang out and, uh, you know, we can be buds. But when it's time to, to do something hard, I want you to do it. And you got to, I got to make sure that we follow through on it. So doing really good, huh, Blue? Yes, they're pretty sweet. We really like having them around. They're doing good with the other dogs. Blue sometimes can be a little rowdy with other dogs and play super rough, just like her Sharpe breed. But as far as um, that goes, that just comes with a little bit of control and, and understanding, you know, when it's too rough and calling them away. So yeah, anyway, they're doing really good. We're really pleased with their progress.